Hey guys, it is Saturday, September 30th. Truth and Reconciliation Day. I'm, uh, you know, just doing Uber again. Looking at the squirrels in the tree above me. Sometimes I wonder if they drop nuts on purpose or like... Maybe they're just done eating them. But yeah, lots of nuts on the ground. <laughs> Anyways... I uh, got my first request for the day, Thindy, my classic Thindy deliveries. I was kind of wondering what's up with these construction guys having their feet wrapped up, but I don't know, a question that will go unanswered. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was kind of just like riding towards the east, we've got volleyball later today, and uh, got a request. For a metro shop and pay. It was uh, only four unique items, so shouldn't be too bad. It was a uh, night quill, day and night, and ice cream, <laughs> as well as potato chips. So, yeah, I got those and then uh, dropped them off. Pretty easy. I think the. Uh, the Uber preview showed it as being like 49 minutes and it only took me 35 minutes, so, you know, I'm efficient, what can I say? And yeah, kept riding towards the east. I did not take that request, that was kind of a bad one. And uh, yeah, noticed there was a street sale going on, but I guess it's over already, so. I just looked at the junk and took some of it. Free junk. And uh, yeah, just crossing over the Don Valley. And it looked like Queen Street is closed for some reason. So I went down to Eastern. And Eastern, not a great road to bike on until they have bike lanes. And I was like, oh, actually pretty nice down here. And uh, yeah, kind of a yard sale over here. I'm pretty sure these guys advertise like every week on Craigslist. So I've seen their Craigslist ads. And they had some neat stuff, I guess, but uh, I don't know. Any yard sale that's like just a for profit shop is kind of like not the greatest. You want those wealthy people that are just getting rid of extra stuff they have for cheap. <laughs> that's where the deals are. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. So, uh, met up with the guys for volleyball. Setting up now. Yeah. No Tyler this week. But we got the net up anyways. And, uh, yeah. Here's some, uh, cut together footage. That makes us look like we're good at volleyball. And, uh, yeah, that's fun. I guess I didn't film us just hanging out, but we took breaks and stuff, and uh, yeah, I guess we played for a while too, I don't know, just some classic volleyball things. So anyways, Adam and uh, some of the other guys went to No Frills, and I just rode to Adam and Don's with Don and helped unload the bikes and stuff, and uh, yeah. Had a look at uh, Don's strawberry plants. Still got a strawberry going here. The ever-bearing strawberries. And uh, yeah, we had a good time uh, hanging out. Ate some chicken wings. Potato salad. Yeah. All in all, pretty chill time. Yeah. The raccoons are coming out again. Classic raccoons. Always up to something. Anyways, after I left, I did go back online on the Uber. And, uh, yeah, it looks like... I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Got a $5 request 
not the biggest payout, but it's the direction I want to go, so might as well take it. And yeah, just crossing over the Don Valley again. And uh, yeah, did that job off pretty easy. However, disaster struck as I was leaving. I heard a loud uh, snapping sound and then something falling from my bike, it sounded like. And uh, yeah, I broke a spoke, so I wrapped it up so it doesn't like dangle around while I'm riding. You know, I went offline here. I heard it's okay to ride with one broken spoke for a little bit. It doesn't feel great though, I'm like, oh man. Every like weird bump or curve in the road, I'm like, is this gonna bend my wheel? Maybe. But I, I rode kind of slow and hopefully that helped. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've got a spare spoke somewhere, so pretty sure I can fix this tonight instead of uh, needing to spend tomorrow going to a shop. And uh, yeah. I guess just going over this again, I needed to also replace the nipple because the replacement smokes are a bit of a different size. And uh, yeah, eventually I, I got the combo to work out fine. But uh, I thought I had a bunch of spare spokes, but only one of them was actually long enough. I feel like whoever cut these spokes did kind of a bad job. Because now I have three spokes that won't be long enough. But yeah. I got the one replacement one on there. So, maybe I'll be able to pick up a few uh, replacement spokes. I don't know. I'm good for tomorrow though. Also, there's this weird bug in my aquarium. I wonder what it's gonna turn into.